This video is about primary growth in plants and covers one of the two growth types that plants undergo during development. For simplicity, primary growth corresponds to an increase in length or vertical growth. Plants, with some exceptions, have indeterminate growth. This means that these organisms never stop growing and are constantly producing new cells from specific meristems. A meristem corresponds to undifferentiated groups of cells or tissues. For primary growth, the most important meristem is the apical meristem, found both at the tip of the stem and at the tip of the roots. During primary growth, meristems give rise to three tissues called primary meristems. The protoderm, which produces dermal tissue, the ground meristem, producing ground tissue, and the procambium, which produces vascular tissue. The primary growth in roots corresponds to an elongation of the root underground. Here, we can identify the root cap, which is a protective structure of the root and three important zones, the division, elongation, and differentiation zones. The division zone is located immediately before the root cap at the end of the root. This is an area of intensive cell division, and it is possible to identify several cells undergoing mitosis. The elongation zone is the middle zone, and it is where most of the growth actually occurs. Finally, the differentiation zone, where cells complete differentiation and become distinct types of cells. In terms of shoots, primary growth takes place from two major areas, the shoot apical meristem and the axillary bud meristem. The term apical dominance corresponds to the ability of apical meristems to inhibit axillary bud meristems when these are in close distance. The closer they are, the more inhibited axillary buds get. Contrarily, if the apical meristem is damaged, then axillary buds become more active and give rise to lateral shoots. As with roots, we can also identify the protoderm, the ground, and procambium meristems in shoots. Finally, the leaf primordia is where new leaves are formed. Primary growth in leaves is also a fundamental aspect of plant development and the anatomy of the leaves is primordial in understanding how plants continue to grow. As I mentioned before, leaves originate from the leaf primordia, located near the apical meristem of shoots and sometimes also next to axillary buds. Dermal, ground, and vascular tissues are also present in leaves, with the vascular tissue being continuous from the stem of the plant. One of the most important parts of the leaf is the stomata, which are circular structures that allow gas exchange specifically of carbon dioxide and oxygen. The ground tissue of a leaf is also known as mesophyll, located between the epidermal layers. This tissue is mainly composed of parenchyma cells specialized for photosynthesis. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in this video will be true no matter what biology class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Images and diagrams are from Campbell's Biology 11 edition unless otherwise stated. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services in our tutoring center, which is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building. You will find all of the details you need to know about these services in our website, which is www.baylor.edu forward slash tutoring. You can schedule a free 30-minute one-on-one tutoring session online or just drop in during any of our business hours. For many information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you.